All right, so I have not finished the sound yet because I have hundreds of gigabytes of sound files to go through in order to find what I'm looking for. So today I just wanted to kind of do some polish that I've been kind of neglecting. One of those being filling in spaces like this that should have animals in, the, in them as well. So we're going to put some rabbits in here. We're of course going to need a navigation volume. Press P to toggle on the display of it. And we're just going to make this cover a good majority of this area right here. Probably right about like that. I'm going to put one there. And I'm going to put a separate one back here. I don't really want our animals going outside of the predefined areas I have them in. Because their AI is very simple. So it's possible that if the player is in this area for a long amount of time, you know, a rat might end up from the market district all the way over there by like where the rabbits are in the garden section. And that's not really what we want to happen. So if we can kind of confine these spaces, that would be a good thing. Kind of just like this. We have like defined areas for where things can travel. These right here are connected, but that's just butterflies and rats, and that'll be fine. But it's very purposeful that there's nothing here and nothing here. In these areas, I'm probably going to put some rabbits and some butterflies here. Both of those would probably make sense in this area. Let's make this a little bit larger to cover up right up behind this house. That's pretty good. All right, so let's start placing down some more of those. I also need to make a change real quick to the rabbit AI because I realized I didn't do this before. Our actual mesh, there's, a, there's currently an issue where if the player walks too close to one of these rats or butterflies or whatever, that the collision on the actual animal will interfere with the collision of the player and push them around. We don't want that to happen because that's kind of, especially in VR, that's bad. You don't want to move the player around without their intent to do so. So we're just going to set the collision here to no collision. The capsule component is where we actually want to deal with the collision. So right here we have the pawn preset. We're just going to go to custom. We're going to ignore all the collision responses except for the camera needs to block and the world static needs to block. Compile and save that. And now when the player is in the world, they won't get pushed around by the rabbit or won't be able to go walk through where the rabbit is. I already did this on the butterfly and the rats a couple days ago, but I didn't put it into a video because I honestly forgot. I'm working on this project all the time, even when I'm not recording. How many rabbits do we want in this area? Let's just go with four. Put one back here in this area. It looks pretty good. Let's put a bunch of butterflies in here. Good thing to turn on that bounds every once in a while because right here, I realize we didn't even put this one inside the actual bounds. Let's grab one more butterfly and stick it over here. That's pretty good. Hmm. Only six. Let's do one more. Seven's my lucky number. Let's make some of these a little bit bigger. This is going to be a mega butterfly. Make some of these rabbits a little bit smaller. Same thing over here. One and two, three and four, five. Six and seven. Let's do um let's do four rabbits in this area. And let's put one lonely little rat in here. And we'll make this rat quite a bit smaller. Just what's running around. Let's change the size of a couple of our butterflies. Larger butterflies. Let's make this rabbit a little bit smaller. Let's make this one slightly bigger. Let's turn that off. Now we'll have a little bit more life to our map right here. 
which is what we want. Should also fill in this area over here where I don't think there's anything currently. Yeah, I don't have a volume over here and I need one. It's very important that we do not want it to intersect with that one over there. So, let's grab another one. That's probably pretty good. Make sure we're not intersecting the outside city walls. That'll probably be fine. Not too much, but that's all right. Place down a couple of little lonely rats over here. I'm always doing uniform scaling here, so I really should turn on the uniform scale. So if I want to make this butterfly bigger, I can just do it once. It's a lot easier. I guess it's just force of habit. Anything to make our world feel a little bit more lived in. I can't wait to start adding actual characters, like humans. That's going to be pretty awesome, but... Like I said in a previous video, the guy who is designing my characters is not going to be available until probably late March. So, I don't, I'm not going to have anything like that coming anytime soon, to be honest. I've still got to have time to get those into the engine once he gets them to me and optimize them how I need them to. A little tiny volume up here. Not, nothing too much. Just enough to cover this front area. Something like that. Put in a few butterflies. Make this one extra large. Lonely rabbit over here. Some kind of lagging going on with the engine right now that I'm not sure what's going on. My GPU is not getting hammered that hard, so I'm not sure what's happening there. Looks like something going on with the disk, but it shouldn't be, seeing as I'm running an NVMe SSD. Oh well. Let's just hide these trees real quick so I can see a little better. This has got to be slightly larger, but again, I don't want to intersect that. I don't want to deal with the weird issues of animals trying to run up a hill, to be honest. Let's just bring that down a little bit. Cover the majority of that section just fine. Put down a few rabbits. A couple of rats. And a bunch of butterflies. I love butterflies. They're fantastic. Such pretty creatures. Well, <laughs> at least from a distance. Looking at them up close is kind of terrifying. <laughs> then again, I guess that's the case with a lot of wildlife. Okay, we're intersecting with the city walls. We don't want that. Let's come back in a little bit, a little bit. This could create the issue where a rabbit runs up these stairs, which could be pretty bad, but kind of funny also. So I think I'll leave that alone, actually. Okay, we're getting pretty close to being done with just a little bit more of that life adding. <laughs> Let's go through and see if there's anywhere else we want to add something. I think I want to add a little tiny section here. There's nothing really going on here. We could just make this a butterfly volume. Only butterflies are going to spawn here. Just two of them. Back over here, we got another large open empty section. I just don't want to leave any empty sections. Empty as in sections that don't really have houses in them. I don't want to leave them too blank. I mean, we're already accomplishing that a little bit by putting in, you know, the trees and stuff like that. But still, it'd be better if it had some kind of life to it. A reason for people to go back there. Granted, they won't spend much time back there. Unless they're weird like me and they like looking at artificial life, but... Still, it's uh, something I enjoy. All right, let's get a little zoomed out view here and see what we're missing. Okay, so we've got here, 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 here. We're avoiding this area, that's pretty good. We don't want anything in here. I might put a little volume there for rats. 
Because it's kind of a storage area. And that might make sense. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's put another little tiny volume here. This area is pretty flat, so I think I should be able to get away with not making it any taller, which should avoid any of the issues of rats getting places they shouldn't be. Let's make it a little bit wider. All right, that's pretty good. Let's put down some rats. I want these rats to be pretty small. It doesn't matter how close they are, to be honest, either. Seeing as the AI is going to move them around anyway. We'll leave that part blank. All right, I think that's probably all I want to do for that. Let's load in and take a look. All right. Walk around, see some rats. Should be some back here now. There's one. There's another one. There's another one. Over here and see our rabbits. The new ones we put in. Ooh, let's see all this too. There's a butterfly. There's a big rat. There's a rabbit. Now, the issues of the rabbits moving us around should be going. Oh, so I'll just stand here. Before, when the rabbit would run through where my feet would be, it would cause the player to move around, which we didn't want because, again, that's very bad for motion sickness and just general player feel in general. You don't want to take control away from the player. But now that's not an issue because the collision volumes are properly set. Same thing with the butterflies. This is just looking so fantastic. I'm loving this. Rats, got some butterflies. All right, well, I think that's enough for today's video. Thanks for watching. Consider liking and subscribing and watching the playlist on how the project got to where it currently is. And I'll see you tomorrow.